Well, the premise of any kind of sinus disease, for the most part, is that sinuses don't drain the right way. And essentially, the way I describe it to patients, it's almost like a plumbing problem. You've got a sinus that's full of liquid or infected material, and it can't get out. So when you relieve that obstruction, a lot of times those sinuses drain better, people breathe better, and their pressure and pain and their need for antibiotics go by the wayside. Over the last 25 years, we've taken people to the operating room and removed some of the tissue from around the natural drainage por portion of the sinus. Usually that works great, but in the last several years, there's been new technology that's come out that's made that a lot easier. There is a technology called balloon sinuplasty that is essentially like an angioplasty. And in that procedure, a balloon is inflated that opens up a blood vessel, usually used for heart vessels. This is similar as it relates to the sinus, where you have a balloon catheter that goes in through the sinus opening and enlarges that sinus opening, allowing it to drain, and it stays open permanently. So it's a different way to open up the sinus that doesn't involve removal of tissue, bleeding, or usually much recovery time at all. So the patients that are best qualified for this are patients who typically have sinus infections recurrently, meaning they get infections three, four, five, six times a year. Now when that happens, they usually take antibiotics and it gets better. But the problem is they're using antibiotics on a recurrent, constant basis. And over time, that's not good for them and it affects their attendance at work and their quality of life in general. So what we can do for those people is open those sinuses up and a lot of times just the fact that it drains better and the pressure is relieved will prevent those future infections. That's one group of people that really benefits well from this. Another group of people that does real well are the, what we call the chronic sinus infection patients. Now these are ones that they've been on antibiotics for two or three weeks. A lot of times they've gotten steroids and rinses for their nose. They still don't get better. Now in that case, you have to do something, and usually some kind of procedure to open those things up is warranted. There's a big cohort of patients that still do better going to do a standard sinus surgery in the operating room as opposed to doing a balloon sinuplasty. Those patients usually have bad deviated septums. Their nose on the inside is crooked to one side or another. Or they're patients with a lot of polyps or really advanced sinus disease with a bunch of swelling and several things going on. Because sometimes those patients do remove some, need some tissue removed, they do do better in the operating room. The procedure usually doesn't take very long at all. This balloon catheter goes into the sinus, gently inflates, opens the sinus up, and it will stay that way as far as we know forever. And because it doesn't rip tissue, it doesn't remove tissue, there's very little bleeding, very little crusting, and you feel better almost immediately. We do a lot of these procedures at Barnes Jewish St. Peter's Hospital. It's really an advanced sinus center. Uh, we do a lot of our sinus procedures there, and they really have all the up-to-date equipment that we need to do our job there. They have a full complement of balloon sinuplasty equipment, as well as some of the endoscopes that really help us do our job better. Alternatively, what we can do is we can do it in the office. We have the equipment to do it here, and typically those are done under local anesthesia where the nose is numbed and then the procedure is done. If we deem that it's better and in your best interest to have it done in the hospital under general anesthesia, those patients do very well at Barnes Jewish St. Peter's Hospital.